Hello everybody, welcome to another Facebook Live. I've been planning this one for a while and I'm uh, quite excited about some of the things that I'm going to be sharing with you. First of all, the deal's amazing. As always, I do hope you agree with that. I need to say thank you for joining us because it is a pleasure as always. And it's nice to see some new names as well. So um, good, uh, good morning, hello, good afternoon, wherever you are in the world, just wanted to say thank you. And I'm going to be working with a couple of different dyes. Um, first of all, one that's brand new that you won't have seen before, and I'm then going to revisit some of the others that you'll find on the Highlight Crafts website, and then introducing you something that's completely new, but I'm going to save that for just a few moments. So let's start off with this first part of the story. And I've chosen a card front that is a combination of different dies. So we've got some web exclusives in here. We've got the brambles, also got some of the other designs. And um, I've got that background with a watermill in the, back, in the back. Now, promise that what I will do over the coming months, once I get some space in my head and I can clear one of the filing cabinets out to make room for some new stuff, I'm gonna learn all these names because as fast as I learn one another, one drops out. Um, so what I'm going to do is I just want to show you how I'm going to take this little character. Now he is the cutest little field mouse and I'm just going to place him right down here so you can see the detail of him. In fact, let's pop him on a piece of white. So his fur is fabulous. We haven't got too many cut lines, just enough to give us the dimension that we need from here. And if you were cutting this from plain white card, you would be able to use those lines to help you with the coloring. So when you take a look at his fur on his tummy, he's shaded beautifully under his neck so that where his head comes over the body, you've got that little bit of a shadow. And then there's also some shading on his tummy. Now that could be because his fur's a bit mucky, he's been playing around in the mud. Or it could also be because the light is shining directly on this part of his fur and it's bringing him to life. So I wanted to show you how even if you have not bought the whole collection, you've bought bits of other collections, you can still build your stories. So this one has elements from a few different collections. And I'm going to put the little mouse down here. And he's gone to visit the dragonflies, have a little chat with them. He's also gonna be talking to the water vole. Oh, oh, he's in hiding. He actually hasn't come out yet. So don't think you've missed out because he actually hasn't come out the house, but he's gone there to visit and chat. And hello everybody, if you've just joined, I'm sorry you didn't miss anything, just me rambling as always. Um, I hope you think we're starting to get a little bit better at these. I know that Andrew certainly, he's done an amazing job with us lighting me up. I feel like, I'm, I feel like I've got paparazzi and they're gonna splash at me all around here. Honestly, you should see how. One day I'll do a shot from my side of the fence and you can see what it's like. And we are so, so close to being in our new building. And I just know, I've just been looking at the lights and the paparazzi, not the camera. So a real big apology there. Just shows how live we are, isn't it? So let's get back to our little water mouse. And hello, everybody who's just joined us. Hi, I'm really good to see you. Don't forget, keep those messages coming. And also post pictures of your cards because they are getting amazing. Um, so I've got my little mouse here and I wanted to bring in another one. So I could have twins with them sat side by side, but I wanted to show you how you can cleverly take something that is at one orientation, change it very slightly. And what it does is it makes it look like you've actually got two separate dies. So I'm going to take the one that's going to the back first and I'm going to be lifting this bulrush that I've got here. And I did just tuck it in, so it, I'm just gonna hold that so it stays in place. I'm gonna put the little mouse so he is leaning at an angle. And actually, he looks like he's just about to fall over after one gin too many. But we're gonna sneakily put him so he's peeking, not so he's poking himself in the eye, but he's peeking around the bulrush that we can see there. And then, when I put this other mouse on, and I put my little field mouse there, because he's peeking round, 
it looks like we've got two different dies or that it's one die and the two of them are joined. So by having that little bit of foliage coming across his face and his nose tucking just behind that bulrush, we can change the angle. His paws still look like he's actually upright and it works really cleverly. So a little tiny tip for you there and how you can add these into some of your existing designs. So please don't miss out on Little Field Mouse. Now we're gonna go on to some other things that I want to share with you. So I'm going to work with some designs from Forgotten Corner. So I've pulled this out. Oh, I did it. I sneaky peeked. Um, these are the very, very first set of stamps. So this is not traditional stamping. Um, I did start off and I did a lot of stamping when I first started crafting. Well, got into paper crafting and I used to buy wooden block stamps. Some of you probably aren't old enough to remember that. I know some of us are. And they used to have mostly red rubber on them and they cost a fortune. And worse than that, you, you couldn't hide them because they were quite bulky. So you know, if you wanted to say, oh, no, 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 I've had that ages and the pile's getting bigger. It was really hard. So um, and then we went through a phase of taking all the rubber off the wooden blocks because that meant we could, they were easier to store. And now, of course, we've just got our clear stamps. So I've got them printed out. But I want to draw your attention to a few little bits. And this is I think this is quite exciting. We've got Bridal Way Farm, Footpath the Lane, the corn, uh, cornfield this way. Then we've got some little um, icons, almost like advertising icons. We've got a few little leaves, the corn. Then we've got a barn and we've also got the solar wind um, wheel that we've got here and a couple of the little elements that are great. So you will have seen, and if you haven't, check it out, that we've got things like fence posts and we've now even got sign posts. Well, I didn't want to put all that line detail on. If I turn this over, I'll show you what I mean. All of this line detail, I didn't want to put that in all the posts because if, I, if we then typed in the word, A, it means it's harder to nest them and for you to get a really good finish, but also it limits what you can use it for. So I'm like, how can we make this better value for the customer? So I was like, well, why can't we just stamp? the actual, the, the footpath or the bridal way or whatever it is that we want. I thought, actually, we can be cleverer than this. So let's show you a couple of little things. So first of all, take a look at this barn building that I've got here. And I'm just going to, I'm just going to put my viewfinder over the top. You've never seen a viewfinder before. Oh my gosh, you don't know what you've been missing. And you're probably thinking it's some fancy piece of equipment. It's a piece of card. Um, a piece of card and you use the image to find the view. So which bit of it do you actually want to use? Okay, you know, it's really funny because I actually can't see what that looks like. And I think you've all worked out that I don't take myself too seriously. And part of that's because I think life's a bit short, isn't it? My dad has this saying, he says, um, this is not a rehearsal. Uh, no, what is it? Enjoy life. This is not a rehearsal. I bet you guys have got sayings like that. Come on, send them in. Let's see them. Let's see those sayings, and um, maybe we can have a prize for the best one afterwards. That's. Let's get some sayings coming in. That would be really good. Okay, right. So we've got this this barn building, and imagine that I'd been able to stamp this um, wind um, mechanical water pump actually here and mask it off so I just had it in the background there. So I'm adding, remember those little um, robins that we did in the, in the ones that were in the distance and we, we cut those out of shadows and black card and we made it so that they were like silhouettes this is a way of being able to do that but then I thought of this too oh and I could put things like the corn I can have just a few ears of corn in here not using particularly black to stamp with but maybe greys or one of the other colors and of course you are going to get an ink pad with this collection so it gets you started right but it's these I want to show you a couple of little things so I don't want them to be perfect so I'm not going to use a um a die to cut this although I could use my 
foundation ones so but I'm going to cut them as if they've been literally made by the farmer and then look what I'm doing I'm going to come over here and I'm just going to have that stay pinned nailed to there to actually the design and I would ink around the edges of this or print it onto some brown card so it looks like it's onto. In fact, that's what I need to do for you. I need to get you some printable brown card so that you can ink them and we can make wooden plaques. That's what we need. I've just thought of it. Yeah, that's what we definitely need. Okay, so we'd have the little cornfield here. And then I'd take some of my other designs so let's say so we'll put cornfield over there we'll put our other elements to the side of it and then our little mouse and how cute is that in fact he's so gorgeous let's take him right to the front and leave the cornfield sign maybe even a bit wonky it's been it's wonked in the wind and it doesn't that look fabulous so I wanted to be able to bring you these different little signs and other elements for you to be able to do different things with them. Right, I'm going to do um, another one for you. So I'm going to move this one out of the way and I'm going to come here. So I've got, where's my bigger design? I've got one that's got a bigger fence in it. I got it out especially ready and I know it's here. So we'll just have a little wriggle round until I find you. So move that out of the way. Sorry, everybody, me talking to myself. Do you guys do this? Do you actually have a conversation with yourself when you're doing stuff? Because I do. It's, it's so much easier than asking somebody else. Because when I do it like this, I think I might have imagined it. No, I didn't imagine it. I knew I, I, knew I didn't imagine it. Here we go. Look at this one. Now, isn't that just perfect for a bridal way sign? You can see there, I've got the bridal way literally across the bottom of the picture. And then I've got, I don't know what's happened to here to my um, blackberries, but I'm just gonna put them like this. I'm gonna bring a blackberry across the top and I'm just gonna bring my little mouse into the front. And you've got the bridal way telling us that little story. Our little mouse is there, and it really is bringing the whole little thing and collection together. So it's such an easy way of you being able to work with the stamps, work with the little mouse, and bring the whole story in. Okay, so that's one of the other things. And I'm just gonna, I'll just, hang on a second. I just need to check. Um, it might be George Clooney. Um, I only gave him my number a couple of weeks ago. I heard he'd been asking for it. And one of my friends said, do you mind if I give it to him? And um, so I thought, um, I'll just see how it goes. No, it wasn't him. Well, it's obviously he hasn't got round to it. He's been quite busy this weekend, but never mind. Um, don't ask if you can have his number though, because apparently I'm being told he's gonna block it before he sends it. Oh, that's it. Do you know what? It was that blinking glass company again, wasn't it? They were trying to sell me a bit of gas. There's me thinking it was George Company. George Company, George Clooney. <laughs> I can't even, I can't even get his name right. <laughs> right, so there's our bridal way and there's our little story with our little stamps in it. I'm just gonna do one more for you. And I'm going to take something that's completely completely plain and let's look at what we can do with this little mouse oh gosh I've got George Clooney on my mind now so right um <laughs> sorry completely lost the plot here haven't I so now what I would think would be really nice here would be I'm just moving that out the way so I can move this up is this is where I would take those corns and I would literally be stamping some of them behind the design so that you've got a little bit of corn. I might also take the design that I've got here. Let's just move those berries from behind and 
might take it but, but have it all glued completely flat and stamp over the top of it or even stamp little ears of corn just from behind but what we're doing is we're bringing in extra dimension and this whole thing is about us learning along our journey building up compositions we're going to do some classes for you so they'll be a little bit longer and you can actually stamp along craft along with us which is what this is all about but in the meantime can i just say to everybody thank you so much for joining in keep those sayings coming because we're absolutely loving them and um yeah if anybody knows george and he says i didn't pick my call up will you just tell him i was busy doing a facebook live for you guys <laughs>